Hello and namaste everyone. Today we are at the quarterfinal of World Cup 2019, the game of the king of World Cup, Ding Lirin versus Grishuk. First round between them was draw. We are with the second round where Ding Lirin successfully won Grishuk and entered to the semi final of World Cup 2019. Here, Ding Lirin is white where Gisruk is black. Ding Liren started with c4 English opening was played by Ding. c4 was the first move that was played by Ding Liren. c4 reply was e5 and after g3 was played knight to f6. Bishop to g2, bishop to c5 then after d3 and then d5 was played by Grishuk breaking the center square and it was captured by Ding c into d5 and knight into d5, knight to c3, here Grishuk avoid the trade and played knight b6, there are many games with knight to f3 before the knight to c3 but here Ding played knight to c3 trying to exchange on the d5 but it was not accepted by Grishuk, knight to f3 was then played knight to c6 and both castle and castle e3 then after trying to push b4 and then after b5 which might lead knight takes e5 here then after a5 was played such that white cannot push b4 and after knight to a4 was played black have to trade this otherwise knight will be capturing the bishop on c4 or even knight to b6 which will lead of course black with the bad position so here grisuk accepted the trade knight takes a4 was played in the game and queen takes a4 knight to d4 trying to exchange the knight on the f3 with the bishop on c5 and making the bishop a strong bishop knight takes d4 was played and Bishop takes d4 was played. Now Ding have to worry of the c1 bishop how to develop. He have to go somewhere in this line or somewhere here but he have to think of bishop takes b2. So in order to develop the bishop in c1 he have to worry the b2 pawn. Let's see how and what was the planning of Ding and how he developed. He played bishop to d2. What happens now if Grishuk just captures the pawn on b2? In the game, it was played c6, c6 was played in the game. But what happens if it play bishop takes b2? We'll be looking at that one as well. Bishop to b2 will of course lead rook to a b1 and bishop back to b4 will lead bishop takes b7 and the rook open file will of course make white a little bit better than black. That's why here Grishuk didn't capture the pawn on b2 and he just played after bishop to d2 he just played c6 just defending the b7 square and then after it was played e3 and then b sub to b6 was played by Grishuk. what happens if again it's bishop takes after e3 if bishop takes b2 it's blunder for black you might pause the video and find out how would white win after this game it's very easy it's rook a2 the bishop and b2 is now trapped it cannot go on the c3 square it cannot go back to d4 square if queen captures on d3 then simply rook takes a2 and it's a piece down for black that's why in the game after e3 bishop takes b2 was not played and bishop to b6 was played and after bishop to c3 and then after the bishop on c3 it's very strong with bishop in the open diagonal with g7 square being attacked with e5 pawn also being attacked after that rook to e8 was played protecting the pawn on e5 then after rook fd1 protecting the pawn on d3 both the player protects the pawn and then after bishop to d7 in case somehow black can play with c5 attacking the queen with the bishop then after rook ac1 was played no worries if he plays c5 queen can come back to c2 and then after h6 was played in order to save from the back rank problem in coming future s3 was played 
not letting black to come to the z4 square in future and which might lead rook to come to d2 and of course make some pressure for white rook b8 was then played rook d2 simple planning for rook d2 was rook comes to d1 or rook comes to d2 and this rook comes to d2 this doubling the rook and the same file bishop to c7 was played after d4 c5 attacking the queen and in order to defend the queen he comes back to c2 e takes d4 e takes d4 was played and after c4 was played by black a simple concept here for white which might be not known for many of the player is to just block the pawn structure and the square which might make an isolated pawn for many games and that was played in the game by ding and it's simple a4 which will of course not lead black to play b5 if he play b5 then a takes b5 and the pawn on c4 and the pawn on a4 will be isolated and it need to be defended for long if a4 was not played in the game then b5 would be coming and it will of course lead b4 for the next move and then make black a better position bishop to d6 was played in the game by Grishuk and rook back to d1 in order to develop the bishop to d2 or queen to d2 attacking the pawn on a5 b6 was played defending the pawn on a5 rook a e1 not letting black to gain an advantage with the open rook file and he need to exchange the rook on e1 it was played rook into e1 rook into e1 by Ding and queen to c7 was played h4 now why didn't worry of d1 square with the bishop coming to g4 attacking the rook on the d1 because the rook is not on d1 now it's an e1 so he's just played h4 and now bishop on g2 can go anywhere he didn't need to protect the pawn on h3 that's why he played h4 here rook a1 not letting white to gain the advantage with the open file black tries to exchange the rook bishop to d5 rook into e1 bishop into e1 was played in the game bishop e6 trying to exchange and it was easily exchanged by ding f into e6 was played queen e4 attacking the pawn and it was defended by king itself bishop to c3 back protecting the pawn and the d4 and also letting white somehow play d5 after might be attacking the pawn on the g7 square and it was then defended by bishop to f8 and according to plan of white he played d5 immediate queen to d6 not capturing if he captures then simply queen captures and it's really bad for black king he need to go in the open squares and that check will of course make black to the losing losing position after d takes e6 was played queen to e6 trying to exchange if he exchange the queen here then it will be of course better for black rather than white because bishop will be coming to b4 and yes king will be in the center and yes we all know that king in the center for the end game is far better than king in the corner squares so here ding didn't exchange the queen he gives queen b6 check here queen cannot go back to e7 if he goes queen b e7 then simply queen takes b6 is coming up so here king goes back to g8 and then after bishop to b4 protecting the pawn on the f2 and also protecting the pawn on the b2 square if here check then simply king can go to the h2 and also here white is attacking the pawn on the b6 square now then here queen to f5 was played in the game queen to f5 was played in the game and if queen to b6 then simply queen to d7 is coming up attacking the pawn on the a4 and also the bishop on the d4 square if it goes backward then yes of course queen takes a4 is coming up and which will of course lead black to come up with the draw position however in the game ding didn't played queen to b6 
he saw the move of queen d2 and then he played king to h2 trying to defend the check and then after go for queen to b6. Queen c2 was then played attacking the pawn in the a4 he captures then simply queen takes a4 will be coming up again and there might be another move queen to b4 and white cannot capture that if he captures then a captures b4 and then after c3 can come in the coming future and yes this is good for black rather than white and after here queen to d5 was played by ding and king f7 queen f7 was then played this lead white to come up with the winning position and without capturing the pawn and b6 it may white to the winning position if bishop goes somewhere then queen is coming with the checkmate on the g7 square queen to d3 was played in the game attacking the bishop on the d4 square it was protected by bishop to c3 then after queen back to d6 protecting the bishop on f8 square because bishop now cannot move anywhere if it goes anywhere then queen g7 checkmate is coming up after queen takes c4 now here of course white is a pawn up and this makes white with the active bishop whereas black with the bad bishop number of square bishop is covering for white is more than a number of square that black is covering up with the open with the open open diagonal for the white this makes white bishop with the good position while black with the bad position and after queen to g6 was played and bishop to d4 and then grishuk just decided to resign and he resigned after this game even if the game was played then now there might be queen b5 coming up or even queen to c7 coming up that will of course lead queen to b6 and yes it's already winning with the pawn structure and action and also the extra pawn on the b6 with this winning ding enters to the semi-final of world cup 2019 and thank you everyone hope you like my video and if you do like my video do not forget to subscribe my channel and support me and also do not forget to like share and comment and give any suggestion if you have or any feedback if you want me to go for any upcoming videos thank you and bye bye